Hi there, uh, it's Ian from Inform Racing here. Just want to update you on some of the additions we've made to the system builder at Inform Racing. Um, you can uh, test your systems and find uh, winning systems and then use the declarations button at the top to find any uh, bets for that day uh, very quickly. So I've opened a system here called uh, top m a top master and average handicap chase uh, betting system and you can see that the rules are the m a rating rank must be one the race type is a chase we are on handicap races the actual rating from the m a column is 135 or greater number of runners between 4 and 14 course rating rank is uh, top five and these are the courses that we are looking at and the we're going to run this from back to 2018 and forward so we've got this system uh, uh, set into the system builder and um, once you're happy with your rules click apply rules and there we are in just just over four seconds from all that data we've got the results so this system we know is a decent system there's a 31 percent strike rate uh, a nice profit of 271 points and an amazing return on investment of nearly 58 percent so we scroll down the uh, system builder and what you can see now is we've added the results breakdowns for a number of the form categories so first of all we break this down by year so that you can see that the um, the profit for each year, uh, there has been a profit in the last, uh, since 2018. And what the, the point of the break, the results breakdowns is, it's not particularly to go too mad on um, back testing or back fitting, but it's just to look at particular form factors that may be um, prohibiting a decent result or a better result or a better system set of rules for your ideas. So, We've got uh, the race type, well, we're only looking at chase races anyway, and handicap or non-handicap, we're only looking at handicaps, so they're going to be the same. So what you're looking for is to try and help your, your system out. I look for, look at the strike rate, so we're just around 31% strike rate. And when I'm looking at the categories, I'm looking at the strike rate for each category, and I'm looking for a group of um, form uh, factors which may uh, be prohibiting the results or could be improved on if, if they weren't um, used. So we've got the class of the race. Uh, all these seem to be, a, there's a slight drop on the wind strike rate for class one races and not a massive profit, but I wouldn't be too worried about that. If we're looking for um, something where we can group together. So in this instance, you've got the race distances. Now the strike rate particularly drops off once you get to 29 furlongs and greater but to be fair there's not massive loss there's not a massive number of bets so i'd be certainly inclined to leave that what we would be looking at is if there if these if these um strike rates fell off at let's say 24 furlongs at three miles and the profits really dropped you could say that this system doesn't suit races over three miles but for this one there doesn't seem to be too much of a problem the goings again good to soft is uh, slightly below and there's a slight loss but again it's just a bit of a blip and it's not you wouldn't pick out the good good to soft bearing in mind that heavy and soft uh, have given good strike rates and good profits the horse age again looks looks good number of runners pretty pretty fair obviously i've, I've created this system before uh, before we had the breakdown so i know that this is a, a decent system to be following anyway but now we've got the breakdowns it's interesting to go back and just to see if there's anything that stands out um, the betting at bha rating rank this is the um, order of the official rating so number one would be the horses with the top weights down to the bottom horses i mean you can see that the the the, the strike rates at the top generally and the profits so you know the, the higher rated horses will be uh, winning more races and giving more profit, but there's nothing there that I'd want to want to take out. The, the BSP again is a, a a bit of a drop off, but a profit, and only two bets where there's totally negative, so I wouldn't be too worried about that at the moment. BSP rank betting forecast. Now the betting forecast, you can see that after the horse, once a horse is forecast at this is the decimal price, so that's ten to one or greater. 
the strike rate does drop off dramatically and gives quite a loss. And there, there's a fair number of bets here. So I'm going to reset this to betting forecast must be uh, 11. That's decimal price of 11, 10 to 1 or less. So that does stand out. Um, there's a, the draw. Obviously, this is chase races, so there's no draws. Now, the sex of the horse, you can see here that there's the only um, res horses that have been in the results are either a Geldings or Mayors. And the mares are uh, a, a, a big difference to the strike rate, to the average strike rate, plus there's a bit of a loss. So, again, I'm going to look at that and I'm going to just include, just use geldings in this particular instance and not use any other horses. The master rating rank, um, you could perhaps... Sorry about that. Uh, you could perhaps take the top four or the top three, but I'm inclined to leave that. The LTO rating rank, again, I mean, at least it proves that the top, the higher rated horses by the master rating and the LTO rating uh, have much higher percentages, um, as we would expect. These are inform racing uh, speed rating columns. Um, and then you have the course. Well, we've chosen courses, so these are the only courses, and these are all producing good results. And finally, there is a trainer's um, category. You can um, use this one if you want to, but there's not that many bets in this particular system. Um, but you, you, if there particular, there are other systems where it might be very valid to be using, to looking at the trainers and see how they perform. So we're going to change the uh, sex of the horse to just gelding, and we're going to change the betting forecast to 11 or less, and then we're going to run the system again. So we're going to add two new rules. We have the sex of the horse equals gelding only, and the there's there's a loads and loads of categories that you can use that uh, you can see on the screen as I'm scrolling down that you can use to find your systems or to test your systems. Horse going, horses on the going, horse number of runs and winners. The last time out position, last time out lengths beaten in running comment, BHO rating for the last three positions. Um, train on jockey stats as well, but let's just go for the betting forecast decimal. We'll just show you there's all the, the ratings data as well you can use. So betting forecast decimal less or equal 11. You can do that. Now we've got these two new settings. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to... Um, excuse me, snipping tool and just keep what we've got before we run this again. So we've got the 31% strike rate, the 271 profit and a 58% return investment. So we've, we've added the new categories, we apply the rules. And again, in just under four seconds, we've now got the new stats. So let's bring in the old, what we had. And we can see that now we've increased the strike rate to close to 34%. We've added another 30 odd points to the profit. And the ROI has now gone from what was an excellent 58% strike rate, uh, return on investment, now to 73% return on investment, which is pretty damn fantastic. You can also see that betting just to place betting gives you 107 points over the years. So we can see that the uh, the, year, the the stats for each year uh, is still very good or, or it's been a, a winning system for the last four years still. So that's just, two, so just a very simple way of using the breakdowns. Obviously you can you can play around with the system builder yourself if we reset the rules and just add some simple rules. So we'll have the year again, uh, greater or equal 2018. We'll look for flat racing, not jump racing. We'll have the last time out position. This is just one I was playing around with earlier and it quite surprised me a little bit. Last time out position. Numeric. So the horse greater or equal, so it finished fifth or worse last time out. 
and the days number of days since the horse ran was greater or equal 300. I was just trying to look at some jockeys uh, train stats for this one, but uh, so I ran this one. So let's run this one again. Apply the rules. And you can see that there is, well, there's a massive profit, but there's the, the win, biggest winning BSP was 612. So, I mean, I think you want to restrict the BSPs to attend to. Myself, I personally tend to go for less or equal 40. Otherwise, you're going to get some, there will be some huge prices and you can, you can, you can use those if you want to. But I prefer to restrict the BSP. So just on this one, we had a 5% strike rate. Uh, so reducing the BSP has increased the strike rate and we're still, it's actually in the last, since 2018, following horses that came fifth last time out on the flat that ran 300 days or more has actually given a 54% strike rate. So there, there was a winner at 36. Okay, you get the list of um, all the runners uh, from back from the first one in 2018 right up to the present date. No winners on that one for a little while. And um, you could just have a little look at where the profits became. I mean, uh, handicap races, quite a loss, quite a drop in difference in the winning strike rates to handicaps, non-handicaps. Uh, and the class of race, quite a, maybe... Profits are decent from five, class five or higher, or, or lower. So if we go for non-handicaps, class five, let's add those. Uh, class of race, greater or equal five, that's in numbers. So that would be class five, six or seven. And we go for the handicap races and we just choose non-handicaps. So at the moment we've got an 11% strike rate and a 54, uh, 55 Point profit, decent place profits by the way. Let's apply those rules again. Uh, amazingly, that has now given us a 20% strike rate. Not many bets over the three years, but a 20% strike rate, 123 points profit, and the biggest one was only a 34 uh, BSP of 34, and an 84% return on investment again you can look at the look at the recent results and the there was a winner last month that was the big winner actually Woggle at Lingfield and that was a BSP of 34 so just using the um, you can you can then change these um, these uh, form factors at the top to anything you want you could change that to Position isn't 10 or greater. You could change the number of days to, I don't know, 277, less or equal 277. And without going, without changing too much, you can then apply the rules again. But I think that um, the one that I found this morning, which was these rules, is actually quite a nice little system. And uh, there's, there's, um, Maybe something you can you can run this system and go through the breakdowns yourself. There looks like there's a drop off at this sort of point for the number of runners, um, and just see how you get on. But now these results breakdowns are in. You can run the, ver the the most very basic set of rules up here at the top, and then um, look through the breakdowns. You you want to look for something where the strike rate groups of strike rates uh, are showing that there's a, a decent. Um, improvement that you could make. I mean, if you had three-year-olds, six-year-olds and 10-year-olds that had bad bad strike rates and bad profits, there's no common sense reason to not back three-year-olds, um, six-year-olds and 10-year-olds because it's just an absolute blip on the, um, the way that horses run. But if you had the, uh, let's say, well, as we could see, the, let's say the horse age, and we've had it before, uh, starts to drop off at eight-year-old plus, then it's definitely worth just looking at horses that are seven year old or younger. 
and uh, the same for many other categories. I uh, just wanted to quickly show the, uh, this is the same system that we've just run um, with the nice profits and the nice place profits. I just wanted to show a couple of other features on the system builder quickly. Once you have your system set up in the system builder uh, and you have your results and you're happy and you want to, to see if there's any bets today, simply click the declarations button and as long as your year or you can choose the actual race date, as long as your year is going forward from uh, going forward into the future, so I mean I normally set it up for 2021, but 2018 would work fine. Click the declarations button, click the apply rules, and it will show you that there's there's actually one one bet tomorrow for this system. Uh, Avanzata is running at Kempton tomorrow, so in a, in a matter of seconds. Okay, this isn't the most complicated system, but it might not take you too long to find any bets for the day, but certainly. I've got some extremely complicated systems and finding the declarations, well, I'd still be looking once the races were over. So this is just a very quick way to find your horses once you have a system. And the final thing I just wanted to quickly show, we'll apply the rules again for 2018. And there's a back and lay button at the top. Uh, if you click lay, it will then work out your bet for, uh, for lay betting and we're expecting this to come up with a loss. There you are, loss of 141 points. And just lastly, you can change the all the bet fair prices are worked out to 5% commission, or you can change the percentage yourself.